all right so before i start this video i want to let you know that i am not an electrician and i will not be answering any questions uh, related to electricals okay so my microwave stopped working and as usual as spot as we are in america <laughs> panic mode sets in so what did i do <clears throat> i removed the over the range microwave i removed the over the range microwave because it will not power on it stopped working i removed it and quickly what did i do i started looking for a new microwave so this is the old microwave and i went to buy a new microwave this these are all the tools that i used okay i went to buy a new microwave and I plugged it in and there was no power. So of course, that triggered me to test the other outlets in the house. So I plugged the old microwave into a different outlet and voila, I had power. So quickly I returned the new microwave and today I went on Google to search for an electrician to come and fix my outlet problem okay so what is happening is this outlet is not working there is no power to this outlet so i called an electrician and i said hey um i'm having an issue with my outlet and uh, i want to know how much you will charge me to fix an outlet to replace an outlet actually he said 190 dollars i said wait for a minute i have a a circuit breaker box let me go and check the circuit breaker box to see what is going on so i quickly went to the garage my circuit breaker box is in the garage i quickly went to the garage okay i quickly went to the garage opened my circuit breaker box and thankfully my breaker box has been labeled so if you look here this says microwave okay so you just look for uh the circuit breaker and this is it right here and when i showed up it was halfway so that means that there is no power to the outlet the microwave outlet now i turned it all the way to the left and then switched it back on to the right and voila i had power to my outlet so before you panic if your socket if your electrical socket is not working before you panic before you start calling electricians do these little things uh check to see if your outlet is working first and you can use a simple uh phone charger to see if it's working or not if not quickly go to your breaker box and you know turn it all the way off turn it on look for the circuit breaker uh box turn it all the way off and turn it back on and come and check to see if it is working okay i came back and everything is working perfectly so this this is going to be a whole job now i have to replace the old microwave because the circuit breaker is working and guess what i took all this off just to get this microwave down uh, so this is it this is just a simple video if your circuit breaker is not working do not panic we are so much used to panicking here in america just because of a microwave you panic so much um you know this is it. It's a simple video. I'll see you in my next video. So, I do a lot of, I won't say repairs, just, uh, you know, little fixes here and there by myself. Um, you know, I, I had to take this off to replace this light bulb, the light bulb to my entrance and i'm not gonna call an electrician just to charge me you know a high amount just to come out here 
because they have to drive all the way from where they are just to come out here and replace a light bulb i'm not going to do that okay so most of the petty things that i can fix i fix it by myself and that saves you a lot of money it does save you a lot of money